Hey, good afternoon, Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. I just wanted to shoot you a real quick video on our 2021 King Ranch that we have here on the lot. Uh, this one has about 48,000 miles on it. We've got it Veracity value priced at 56,831. So I'll go ahead and show you some of the awesome features, the overall condition of the vehicle and everything like that. All right. All right, here she is, the 2021 F-150 King Ranch Edition. Super nice truck in excellent shape. Like I mentioned, only about 48,000 miles on this one. This one does have the six and a half foot box on it. And this one does have the full uh, Ford factory bed liner in here. Uh, now back here in the bed, you'll notice a few different plugs. This one also has the pro onboard uh, generator. Um, so this is the Power Boost F-150. So it's got the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. Uh, and then it also has the hybrid engines in there um, that will help drive the truck under electric power. So, drop the tailgate back here. You can see you have all of these different plugs. And uh, you can basically use these for whatever you might need out on a job site or uh, around the house or anything like that. You've got four 110 plugs back here, as well as a two, uh, 220 setup or 240 setup. Um, and that is all right here. And then you can turn them on and everything with this power button back here. Um, and then the vehicle will uh, start and, uh, and shut itself off based on how much power you're using. So it'll try and keep the batteries topped off automatically. Um, so if you are using this system, you wanna make sure that you don't have the truck parked in your garage or something like that. Um, because like I said, the truck will start. Um, so you will have exhaust um, gases coming out of the tailpipe. Uh, this one also has the workbench tailgate. So you can see on here, you've got all sorts of different measurements, things like that. Um, you can basically set, you know, whatever you're working on, set a piece of wood up here and quickly mark it off uh, and all of that different stuff. You also have uh, a, um, a clamp uh, sec, uh, you know, spot here. Um, so basically you can put your wood clamps in there and clamp down directly to your tailgate and uh, have a real nice, um, you know, clamping surface. Uh, this one also has the tailgate step built into it. So you just push that button there and then pull this little handle out and you have a full tailgate step. Makes it nice and easy getting in and out of the truck. Just throw your foot on here, grab onto the handle here and climb right up. And then to close all of this, it's super easy. You just follow the numbers. So you've got the one here, you push the one in and then push your handle down. And then you go ahead and push the two down and then that will drop this handle here for you. And you just slide it right back into place. Same thing with this step, you just lift it up and slide it right back into the place. Got a really nice set of wheels on this King Ranch package as well. The really nice chrome. And then the tires on this one have tons of life left in them. This one also has the full 360 sensors on it. Um, so you'll see those in the front bumper here. And those are basically gonna beep at you as you get close to things. If you're parking in a parking spot or something like that, um, those will beep at you. Let you know how close you're getting. You also have them on the back bumper here as well. And like I said, those are just gonna beep at you, letting you know how close you're getting to things. And that's basically what the exterior of the truck is looking like. So we will go ahead and move on to the interior. Here's what the second row is looking like. And I do apologize for the stuff that's in here. My manager is actually demoing this vehicle, um, basically just testing out the new power boost. He hasn't had a chance to experience it yet. So he's kind of seeing what real life ownership would be like with it. Um, 
and all of that different stuff but he's not driving it very much i think he's maybe put 20 miles on it since we've gotten it in here so but that's why there's actually stuff in this truck but um again overall the truck is in excellent shape seats back here are in phenomenal condition got that really nice two-tone leather so you've got the darker leather uh, on the outsides and then you've got that nice lighter leather there in the middle and then you can also fold these seats up. Uh, they will lock into place up. So if you do need more floor storage space, uh, you have a ton of space in this F-150. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention too while I was doing the exterior shots, uh, this one also has the power folding running boards on it. Uh, super, super nice boards. Make it really easy to get in and out of the truck. Uh, and then these ones are extended as well. Um, so they go all the way back to the box. Uh, so if you need to get into the back of the box, you can actually just use that extension on the power board and you can reach right up into the back here. That's basically what the second row and the running boards are looking like though. So we will go ahead and move up front. And here's what things are looking like up front. Again, like I mentioned, the seats and everything like that are in excellent condition. There's no wear marks or tears or anything like that. All of your seat controls are just here on the side. So you can move the seat forwards or backwards with this button. If you lift it up, you will raise the seat up. And then if you push it down, you will actually lower the seat. And then to adjust the backrest, you just use this one here and that will tip the backrest forwards or backwards. And then you have your lumbar controls here. So you can choose which zone you would like to increase pressure in with the up and down button. And then the forwards and backwards button will increase pressure or decrease pressure. Uh, and then with this center button here, you can actually turn on the massaging seats on this vehicle. Um, so you can basically hit this and then it'll pop up in the touch screen and you can select what type of massage you would like. And I'll show that um, a little bit later. And here's how everything is looking from the driver's seat. Got a really nice big digital uh, center stack here, a 12 inch display. Lots of good information that can be displayed on this center screen. Uh, to control this screen, you just use these arrows on the right side of the steering wheel. And with the up and down arrows here in the middle, you can, uh, you can actually scroll through and see all of the different information that is available on the truck here. Um, like I said, lots of good driving information that can be displayed on here. And there is a ton of stuff. It's highly customizable, um, uh, to show you exactly what you're wanting to see on that center console. Um, super nice. Um, a few other controls here on the steering wheel. So on the bottom of this, you have your music controls. You can answer or end phone calls with this button here. You can skip songs or stations, uh, or tracks with these two buttons here. And then over on the left side of the steering wheel, you've got a few more controls. So this is going to be all cruise control related stuff on top here. Uh, so to turn the cruise control on, you just hit this button here. You will see a little um, set number come up here. Uh, and then you'll also see that little truck to the right of that, right above the miles pop up. Uh, and so you can basically set that as a standard cruise control. You just hit the set button. Obviously I'm not moving right now, so it's not going to set a speed for me, but you just hit the set button there at whatever speed you're going and it will hold you at that speed. Um, the other side of the cruise control on this one is the advanced cruise control or the adaptive cruise control, they call it. Um, so with this button here in the top right corner, you can hit this and you can actually change the following distance. And so that little truck that's just below the miles per hour there, right above the odometer, you'll see those lines start to disappear as I hit that button and then reappear. And that's the following distance. Each one of those bars represents about a car length. Um, and that's when the vehicle is actually going to start slowing itself down um, to match the speed of the vehicle in front of it. Uh, once that vehicle moves out of the way, then the vehicle will continue back to the speed that, uh, that it was previously set at. A uh, few other buttons over here. So on the right side, on the bottom here, this is the lane guidance system. So with this system, it will basically read the lines on the side of the road and it will actually physically try to keep you in between those lines. Um, it's really nice if you're on a longer road trip or something like that. It's almost like having a second set of eyes on the road for you, um, which is really nice, you know, added safety, which is um, excellent. Um, just below that, you have your voice uh, recognition system. Um, so the voice system through the truck, the factory one, is fantastic. You can set your um, radio stations, climate control, navigation. You can do all of that different stuff through this voice assistant. If you hook your cell phone up, 
Uh, you also, on this big giant touchscreen here in the middle, you have what's called Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And so with this button here, if you're hooked up through the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto, uh, it will actually use your phone's voice recognition assistant. So if you have iPhone, it'll use Siri. Uh, if you are on Android, it will use the Google, um, Google Assistant uh, instead of the Ford factory voice assistant. Uh, and you can do everything that you would do, you know, normally through your cell phone, right through that function, which is super awesome. Uh, to the left of the steering wheel, you've got your multifunction switch. This has your bilters, uh, blinkers built into it, sorry. Uh, and then you've got your windshield wipers on the dial here. This one also has the automatic rain sensing wipers. So as it detects moisture on the windshield, uh, those wipers are gonna automatically start going for you. Um, and then you've also got your brights on this as well. So if you pull this back, you can flash your brights. If you push it forward, you can uh, lock your brights on. Over on the dash on the left side of the steering wheel, there are quite a few other buttons built, uh, you know, on, on this dash here. Uh, the top right button here is going to be to drop your tailgate. And then these top two buttons on the left here are going to be for zone lighting for the exterior on the mirrors. Um, you can hit this and basically turns on like a small spotlight out on the, uh, on the mirror. Uh, that way you can have a really nice visible work area around the truck. Um, you've got your bed light here, your gas cap um, to open the gas filler door. You just hit this button here. And then this is going to be your lighting dial. Um, it's on automatic right now, but you can turn it to the running lights. You can turn them completely off or you can turn them completely on if you would like. I generally just leave them on the automatic, let it do its thing. Uh, and then these buttons over here are going to be to brighten and dim the display. So if it's nighttime and you're out driving and it's kind of hard to see outside of the vehicle because the screens get so bright and stuff at night, you can actually dim those screens down. That way it makes it a little bit easier for you to see outside of the vehicle. Just below that, you have your electronic parking brake, and then you've got your power adjustable pedals as well. So you can move those closer or farther away from you. Over on the door, you have a few more controls. Uh, up top here, you've got your memory seating. Uh, so you have three positions that can be saved for, uh, for different drivers in your household. Uh, and then you have your door locks, uh, lock and unlock here. Uh, just below that, you have your uh, mirrors. These are power extending mirrors. So if you have a longer trailer on there, you can extend those out and see past your trailer, which is super nice. Uh, and then just below that, you have your uh, power mirror controls. So you can fold these mirrors in with this top left button and you'll see those fold in. If you got a tight garage, something like that, you can just hit that button and squeeze right in there. Um, and then if you would like to adjust the position of the mirror, you just use these uh, arrows here. You can change the mirror so you can see clearly behind you. And then these are just mirror selectors. So whichever one you would like to um, select uh, and adjust, you just select it with that. Uh, and then below that you have your uh, 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 power windows. Uh, these ones have the one touch roll down. So you can just hit it once, it'll roll all the way down for you on the front um, two windows. The back two windows, unfortunately, don't have that one touch feature, um, but you generally don't need it back there. So uh, that's all of the controls on the door there. So we'll go ahead and move on to the center console. So nice big 12 inch display on this center console. Tons of entertainment stuff that can be found uh, on this screen. Like I mentioned before, you've got the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, and that will basically put your phone screen on your center console for you. So if you have music that you like to run through your phone, you can run it all right through your center console. Um, navigation, you can run through your cell phone through your, your center console if you don't like to use the factory one. Um, lots and lots of different stuff that those apps can do for you. It's really cool. Um, beyond that, there's a few quite, there's a, there's a ton of stuff that this center screen can do. I'm just going to cover a couple of them real briefly because otherwise this video would end up being two hours long and I don't want to take up all your time. So, um, I'll just show you some of the brief stuff. So on this screen here, this is going to be a radio screen. Um, you can select which source you would like with the top left corner button there, pick AM, FM, satellite radio, Bluetooth. If you have your cell phone paired up, it'll pop up in this section here um, super nice got the factory navigation here really really handy system um, really fast system as well um, the old ones used to take forever to load everything up and these are are almost instant now so um, really really nice the other cool thing with this system uh, this screen setup is you can actually have it set up for split screen so if you want multiple um, things being shown so like for example let's say you're trying to find your you're, uh, you know, you're on a road trip and you're trying to find your hotel, so you've got your navigation up, um, but you also need to see, um, you know, how much uh, power you're producing. You can have your Pro Power onboard uh, generator over here, and it'll tell you how much power you're producing. 
uh, or using or anything like that while still having your navigation up you can still find where you're going um, you also have your zone lighting over here your radio over here your eco behaviors over here uh, lots of different information that can be displayed on that split screen super super cool uh, feature there um, just above the screen, we've got a few different buttons up here. So you've got your pro power, um, uh, basically to turn on and off your plugs. You just hit this button here and that will turn on the plugs for you. Um, and you'll get this little warning. Like I mentioned before, the vehicle will turn on, uh, with the generator mode going. So you don't want to park it in a garage or anything like that. You want to make sure that it's outside, but that's how you access that button. You can turn all the outlets off with this button here. The button to the right of that is the camera button. So you'll pop it up and you'll get the nice big 360 camera so you see an aerial view around the truck everything around it in live uh, live feed so you'll see if if uh, you know a dog goes running by you or something you'll see it on the camera here which is super nice and then you've got your front camera um, and this is going to show you everything in front of you you can also change the angle that the camera is showing so if you want a full 180 split up front you can do that um, or you can get the uh, 360 camera with the bed camera on there as well um, lots of different uh, configurations for the camera system. Super nice. Uh, this one also has the parallel park assist button. So you can hit this and this will basically, um, it can, it, the, the vehicle can park itself with the active park assist. Or if you're in a um, unknown area and you're trying to find a place to park, you can also hit the navigate to parking, which is super nice. Uh, you also have your hazard button up here and then your traction control button. You can turn the traction control on or off with that. Just below your entertainment section, uh, you have a few more buttons to control media and things like that, music, all of that different stuff here. Uh, and then just below that, you have your climate controls. Uh, dual climate control on the truck, so you can have each side set uh, individually, um, separate from each other. Uh, that way, if you want one side of the truck a little warmer or one side of the truck a little bit colder, you can do all of that with this system. Uh, you also have your heated steering wheel, heated seats, cooled seats, uh, and all of this is the driver's stuff. And then you have your heated and cooled seats for the passenger on the right side there. Uh, over on the left uh, side of the dash here, you have your Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Uh, super nice feature. Basically, you can control your trailer just with this dial. So if you want the trailer to go right, you just turn this thing right and the uh, truck will actually do everything for you. It'll sit there and spin the wheel for you and all of that stuff um, and direct the trailer to exactly where you need it to go. Uh, you Just below that, you have your trailer brake controller. Uh, you can test your trailer brakes with this and then you can increase or decrease the gain on the trailer brakes. Uh, and then just below that, you have your four-wheel drive and uh, terrain management system. So with each of these individual buttons here, you can select what you'd like to be in. You've got the two high, the four high, the four automatic, and then the four low. And then if you push this button in, that will lock your rear differential, uh, basically lock your rear two wheels together. And then if you want to get into the different uh, terrain management systems or drive modes that are available, you spin that dial, and then you'll actually see it pop up here in the center stack uh, and you'll see the gauges change and it'll give you a, um, you know, a, a idea of what it's doing, whether it's going into four wheel drive or if it's going into the sport mode or, you know, exactly what, uh, what you're getting ready to go through. But lots of different drive modes that are available on this thing. And uh, the train management is fantastic on here. You really get through some thick stuff if you need to. Uh, just below all of that, you have a couple of different ports here. So this is going to let you know that your 110 is or, uh, 120 is on. Uh, and then you have a 120 plug down here. It's a 110, but it produces 120 volts. So um, you've got that there. Really nice plugs. Uh, just below that, you have a storage section with the wireless charging pad built into it. And then you have a couple of different USB options here. You've got the regular standard USB or the USB-C. Uh, just below that, you have your cup holders. You've got a nice little spot to set your key if you would like. Um, you can stick that right in there. Uh, and then you have your shifter over here on the left. This one does have the hideaway shifter. Um, so you can just hit that button there and it'll tuck the shifter away. It makes it nice and smooth up top here. Um, and then if you need to drive again, you just hit that button. Pull the shifter back up and you can select whatever gear you need to get into. Just below that, you have your nice big center console tons of storage space in here uh, plenty of room for anything that you might need to store you also have a couple usb ports hidden in there as well 
Over on the passenger side, you have your glove boxes. Um, so you've got a top and bottom glove box. Bottom glove box, nice and big, got your owner's manual in there. Plenty of room for all your important documents, insurance cards, all of that different stuff. And then the top one here, uh, if you hit this button over here, that'll actually open that top uh, little cubby for you. Uh, and you've got another nice little spot for storage there. And here is another general layout of how everything is looking on the King Ranch F-150. So like I said, just a real quick walk around video on our 2021 King Ranch F-150. Uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want to see on the truck, definitely just let me know. You can reach me at my cell phone, 701-500-9340. Uh, or I'm going to shoot this over to your email. So if you just want to email me there, that works as well. Uh, like I mentioned, this is my manager's demo. He is driving it. So it's not going to be sitting on the lot. So if you drive through here, you're probably not going to see it. Um, I know you mentioned that you were interested in setting up a test drive. So if you just want to give me a call that would probably be the best way to set that up just so that I can make sure that the truck is here and available for you and everything like that so all right thank you so much looking forward to working with you and uh, like I said if you have questions or need any help with anything else just let me know all right thank you